funky lifts pictures of movies and stuff in them it's quite cool hello everybody what's happening what's happening my name's neil welcome along to midlife motors and nothing to do with motors today because we're having a little bit of a, a trip out into glasgow we're staying at the radisson red here um a hotel that's used quite a lot because that is the uh Ooh, there we go that is the hydro the sec hydro where all the the events are held where all the um where all the big stars go and do their thing but we're just having a city break today because as well as being useful for uh for the for the events we're only probably a 10 minute walk into the into the city itself so we thought we'd show you around the hotel let you see what you can and can't do what isn't easy that's that way is the that way is the city like i said 10 minute work, walk just along the towpath on the river clyde that's the river clyde behind us there given away by the great big crane we seem to have uh, won a bit of a watch with uh with this room that we've got so we've just come out of the left we're on the fourth floor here room four two three hopefully it'll let us in um cj's in here already i'll give you a quick look round because we've got a great view this is just a standard room we've got here. We haven't paid for anything more or less. You get a nice uh, nice bathroom, big, big shower, big, big bed, big, big telly, all pretty good. A nice place to sit. And I think we're just gonna get a takeaway to, to, tonight and sit and have a look out this window because there's some great uh, things to see. Obviously, a big Goliath there, one of the old cranes from, uh, from uh, the shipyard, shipbuilding days here in Glasgow. But you've also got Across the water there, that's uh, STV. You've got the BBC there. I think the sort of curved building next to the BBC, I think that is the Science Centre. And just if you can see through Goliath there and you can just about see uh, some, some blue in the background, that's Ibrox, that's Glasgow Rangers. And then on this side, this is I guess where all the, uh, all the live events happen. You've got the Hydro itself, you've got the SEC, the conference centre, you've got the Armadillo, and I think the big building behind that, the glass one is the, uh, the plaza, the Crown Plaza, the really big building in the distance there, that's the mega hospital that uh, exists in Glasgow, so we don't want to be going there. And then just the other side of this lot, just where that tower is, where that clock is, I think is a transport museum just behind that. We're probably going to go there tomorrow, but yeah, this is a box standard room. It's absolutely brilliant. £165, fourth floor, room 423. Ask for this one. Plenty of space to chill out, relax. You even get a fridge, a safe, and an espresso machine. How good is that? Great view. Can't wait till it all lights up tonight. The rotunda is just a place to eat. We'll have a little look at when it's all lit up. It should look great. We're on the towpath here. So the hotel's just, just around the corner there. That, uh, that's the armadillo that we can see. So we've just walked down here. Um, we're on the Clyde. It's not exactly Monaco, but there you go. That's the towpath. Follow this, takes you into the town centre, into the city centre. And that uh, little complex there, that's where you can go bowling. You can, there's plenty of restaurants in there. There's a, there's a cinema, etc., etc. We've watched Top Gun today. It's excellent, but we're heading into town now to get something to eat. Come up the towpath and we're pretty much at the, we're pretty much at the city. Across the water, there's lots of bridges that link across the water, which is great. And this Barclays development, this was under construction the last time I was here. And I think it looks brilliant. I love all the curtain wall in. I love the sort of uh, pre-rusted steel. Is that copper or something? I'm not too sure. And the brickwork behind as well, it looks really good. Now, one other thing to point out in Glasgow, plenty of these bikes to hire and jump on and whiz around on. And when you're doing that, Glasgow's really taking a lead here. You've got bicycle lanes. This is just for bikes. No cars in here. Cars are on the other side. I think you have to dodge a couple of buses. I think the buses get to use that, but that's brilliant. And also just uh, underneath the bridge up there, a massive EV charge point, literally five minutes walk from the uh, hotel. So if you're bringing an electric car, that's good too. I like this. I like the way they've opened it all up and they're really focusing on people being able to get out and about and be, uh, and be active. Thumbs up Glasgow, nice one. Okay, okay, well it is midlife motors after all, but a lovely M4 here. When you wander around Glasgow, you'll see some really nice cars just randomly parked, which is, uh, which is always quite good for uh, a little bit of uh, auto uh, spotting, but that's a lovely color, that car, really like it. There is also a Radisson Blue in Glasgow and it is right in the center. Uh, that's uh, Glasgow Central Station right there. So if you're coming by train, the Radisson Blue is probably a bit easier than the uh, than the red to get around. And opposite, the Sir John Moore is a great bar, superb. I've been in there a few times. Does an excellent breakfast as well. All day breakfast, as much coffee as you like. Excellent. Is everything okay here? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. spot on, thank you. Well, we decided not to uh, to get a takeaway after all, so we're coming to Merchant City for a pizza. Um, quite a few places, just looking over my shoulder here where you can uh, get a bite to eat. Just off uh, Buchanan Street, so it's quite central. It's quite mild tonight. It's nice, nice, nice to eat out here. Nice to eat out here. I'll enjoy this. I'll see you when we get back to the hotel. Just off reception here, and your room key opens the gym. So let's have a look, see what they've got. We'll probably pop down here in the morning. Some runners, which is good. Not too much free weights, just a little few bits and pieces there. Some some bikes, a uh, little cardio area, and uh, they've got a cable machine, so we'll probably use that tomorrow. So yeah, you've got a gym as well included in the price. Apparently you can use this anytime. You just got to sign a form at reception. Your room key will get you in. The next day, we're just having breakfast. It's a buffet breakfast here, uh, just off main reception. Plenty of stuff, traditional. We've got a cooked Scottish, so haggis and everything. Pretty good, nice and warm, good food. We'll tuck in, catch you in a bit. Thought I'd just wrap up our stay here at the Radisson Red, Glasgow Quay. That's uh, that's reception there. That's where we, whoops, that way. Uh, that's where we've just been for our buffet breakfast, which was excellent. The food here is superb. The rooms are comfy. The staff are great. I even got a coffee to take with me on the way. Couldn't recommend it enough. If you want to have a stay here brilliant brilliant value for money excellent excellent little hub to uh to explore the city from so if you've enjoyed this please if you can give us a like if you can subscribe below i'm not sure which side it is i'm doing this back to front uh we're off to the transport museum now so that'll probably be another video see you then thanks for watching goodbye